What's good, everybody? Today we're taking a look at document D. Definitely miss everybody, miss being in contact, but this seems to be the best or the next best thing, breaking these down to show you. This is probably my favorite one because I think it tells you so much about Rosa Parks <clears throat> that really no one, you know, not many people know. So this is document D, Highlander School. So the Highlander School was a school for activists in the South that Rosa Parks, you're going to see, actually attended. Let's take a look at our source here. All right, it's an excerpt from a letter. I'm going to highlight that. We know a letter is what kind of primary source. Second, it's primary. Written by Virginia Foster Durr to Miles and Zofia Horton. I'm going to highlight that Virginia Foster Durr. January 30th, 1956, Montgomery, Alabama. So let's check our timeline to place this in the context. January 30th. 1956. Let's see. Uh, 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 so January. This is written, looks like during the bus boycott. Right? J yeah, January 30th, 1956. Without a doubt, right? Let's check it again. Okay. Written during the bus boycott. Cool. So let's take a look at what this says more in particular. This is Virginia Foster Durr. She was a white woman who supported civil rights for African-Americans. Let's highlight that white woman part because that's going to be in one of the questions later. In Montgomery. Here, Durr writes, the director of the Highlander Folk School and his wife. Highlander was a center for training civil rights activists and labor organizers. I'm going to highlight that because that tells us what the Highlander School was. All right. I'm just going to write here so I remember. Highlander was a school for activists. January 30th, 1956. Dear Miles and Zofia, I just received a newsletter from Highlander giving a summary of the past year's activities. I think you should add how much you had to do with the Montgomery bus boycott, which is really making history. Life, time, CBS, NBC, and countless other papers have been down here covering it. I think it is the first time that a whole Negro community has even stuck together this way. And for so long, and I think they are going to win it. So again, we're looking for why was the Montgomery bus boycott successful? That paragraph tells us two things. All this coverage, right? These are magazines or newspapers, Life, Time, CBS, NBC, and countless other papers have been down here covering it. That's crucial, right? It's getting publicity. Now, the other part we're going to do here. It is the first time 
that a whole Negro community has even stuck together this way and for so long. All right, so we have two factors. I'm going to write that here. So our who? Media coverage and the black community sticking together. Remember, when we annotate, we want to do who is it about, the action, or how, and then the what. What are they talking about? So media coverage and the black community are who? Are who? How? What did they do? They stuck together. And then the what, I'm just going to say we're crucial to the boycott. So we have media coverage and the black community sticking together. We're crucial to the boycott. All right, let's look at the next part here. But how your part comes in is through the effect the school had on Mrs. Rosa Parks. So this is where there's a deeper reason for its success. And I think that's what she's saying here, that these are important, but this one is really, really, really important. When she came back, she was so happy and felt so liberated. She said, the discrimination got worse and worse to bear after after having for the first time in her life been free of it at Highlander. I am sure, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there real quick because that's important, right? What she said. She said, the discrimination got worse and worse to bear after having for the first time in her life, been free of it at Highlander. So what is she saying there? Let's put a note here. Rosa Parks is our who? I mean, really, I would say that she was motivated, right? If for her, this stuff was more unbearable after she went there, she was motivated by the equality at the Highlander School, right? White people treating her like, you know, another human being for the first time makes it impossible for her to go back to a bus and be treated like garbage. So she's motivated by equal treatment at the Highlander School. Now let's keep going here. I am sure that had a lot to do with her daring to risk arrest as she's naturally a very quiet person. Although she has a strong sense of pride and is in my opinion, a really noble woman. But you and Zulfia should take pride in what you did for her and what she is doing. Lots of love to all. Come and see for yourself. So this backs up what we said, right? She, Rosa was a pretty quiet person. What this school did was turned her into an outspoken activist. So without this school, it's unlikely she would have become an activist. All right. So I'm going to end that here and just kind of give you a zoomed out picture of this document. The next video is going to just show you how to tackle some of the questions.